Hello there, and welcome to episode one of Sign of Vision, titled Rhythm is Everywhere. And today we're going to do just that. We're going to explore rhythm in several different facets, starting to figure out what it is, how it is, and where is it. When is it? Um, to help us today, we'll have the absolutely wonderful and legendary Mike Burr, drummer mastermind. Here's a little clip of him playing for about a million people. Mike will be our rhythmic consultant today, and he's here to help guide us through learning what rhythm is and how to play it. Um, a lot of our exercises today will be interactive. That means you'll be clapping. You could march, you could dance, you could wiggle your gigantic heart out along with the exercises, and that's how you'll get the most out of this video series. Now, in order to explore rhythm from the ground up, we're gonna have to make some rhythm, and we're gonna have to look at its most primitive, ingredients. What are the basic elements of music? So let's make some. All right, first we have our container, which is time. Music exists in time, right? It doesn't just happen all at once. We have to actually wait and listen to it. And then we can say we've listened to the song. So it exists over a span of time. So we're going to make it in here. Now our first ingredient of music is already inside. I can't see it. I can't hear it. What is it? Silence. Silence is our first ingredient of music, and it is the vacuum in which all music happens. It is the space between the notes, and we need this for variation. Silence is the space of music, the calm before the storm. Next, we need to add the sound. Sound and silence is the basic ingredients of music. So now we're gonna add some not crackly note brand, but actually sound. Let's put some sound into the mix. Sound is the action of music. It is the punch, the kick, the, the noise that you grab onto, you notice, and that emotionally affects you so much. So let's go ahead and enter some sounds into here. All right, we've got a whole bunch of them, yep. Music, of course, is the blend between sound and silence. So. Let's actually give ourselves a listen and see what kind of rhythms exist from this blend. Oh. So we got to shake it up again. Let's try a different rhythm. Let's see what we have in here. Juicy. That's fabulous. If rhythm is just a blend of sound and silence, do we just encounter it in music? Hmm. I'm gonna teleport over to the beach and give a little phone call to my friend Mike in the drum study and see what kind of thoughts he has to offer on this subject. I mean, rhythm is kind of everywhere. It's it's like it's it's sort of easiest to describe as sort of like a like a repetitive sound that maybe makes you want to dance a bit. You know, but like rhythm is also in the way that we talk and it's in the way that we perceive things. So you said that rhythm is in the way that we talk. What did you mean by that? I mean, as we're talking right now, every time I say a word, there is a rhythmic delivery to what I am doing, right? So for instance, if you were to take your name, Christopher Watt, like that right there is rhythmic, syncopated. Each syllable has its own syncopation. Christopher. Exactly. Its own beat. Christopher Lot, 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 Christopher Lot. How do we experience rhythm in our daily life? Oh man, every, everywhere. Uh, let's see. Like you wake up and you make your breakfast and you will hear like the sounds of your breakfast happening. And 
like, you know, the sound of like your, your footstep on the ground as you come down the stairs. Like, yeah, boom, 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 boom. There's uh, you know, there's a sizzle. It might sound away. Your toaster pops and all of a sudden it's like, -choo! right? Like there's a, there's a rhythm and a cadence to everything. You're talking with your parents. Everything you say is going to come out of your mouth at a speed, at a tempo, with a syncopation. So it's kind of impossible to avoid, if anything. Um, if we all walked around in our daily lives without rhythm, basically what you could imagine is you would just sort of silently be sliding to where you had to go. And when you talk to your friends, it would just be, and like that is a boring way to live your life. What rhythms do you hear in your daily life? Are they man-made or sounds of nature? Nearly all music keeps some sort of time. The time is often called the beat or the pulse or a macro beat, the big beat. And whenever um, you hear a big beat, you could almost think of it as the heartbeat of a song. It is what you nod your head to when you listen to a piece of music or tap your foot. So are you ready to get up and kind of move around? Here we go. So for this first exercise, I want you to get limbo. And I want you, if you have a pencil around, you can tap with that on a table, you can clap your hands, or you can even start your own parade and march in place. And what I want you to do is make sure you keep an even pace with the beat that you'll hear, which is just gonna be a metronome, keeping constant time. Each step or tap should match exactly with the beat. Um, DJ, yeah, can you go ahead and start that beat for me? Thank you. Here we go, hear the beat? It's moving in time, right? You can start moving around, you can tap, or you could clap, you could even snap, or march, right? So march in place, and I want you to just keep this beat constant. Here we go. Very good. And you could even count for this. You could say one, two, three, four. One, two, three. You try. One. Two, three, four. Very good. And back to me. One, two, three, four. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to pause the music and I want you to keep tapping in your head and we'll come right back in. Are you ready? One, two, keep on clapping. One, two, three, and again, and we're back. Did you stay on time? Very good. This is a great skill to learn. And when you're listening to a song, you can always dance to a rhythm. You can practice shifting your feet, doing all your moves right on the big beat, right? This is called keeping time, the pulse, the macro beat, all of those things. Okay. All right, now let's start to add some singing into it, okay? So this time, I'm gonna clap the rhythm. And I want you to sing a long, continuous note. Can be any pitch. Can be la, can be la, can be lo. Any pitch that you want while you clap at the same time, okay? Or march, right? And here we go. La. Now we're starting to add pitch to the music. And if music was like that all the time, one long continuous note, it would get boring really quick, right? We need variety. That's why we have silence to break it up. What makes music interesting is the interplay between sound and silence. We do this by having tones of different length. La 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 la, la. La. This gives music variety, variation, the very spice of music. Tap or clap the rhythm as before, but this time I just want you to sing la, la, la on each note that's connected by a bracket at the top, okay? So let's try that. DJ, get our metronome going. Here we go. La, 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 la. Here we go. La la 
Here we go. La 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 la. La la. La 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 la. La la. Time for E. Here we go. One, two, three, four. La 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 la. La la. La 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 la. La la. La 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 la. Very good. Let's do F. Here we go. One, two, three, four. La la. 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 Coming music, isn't it? One, two, G. Here we go. La la. La la. Last one. Eight. Here we go. Here's our count. One, two, three, four. One. La la. La la. La 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 la. La la. Well, that just about wraps it up for Sonic Vision for the day. Thank you so much for joining us, and I'll see you next week.